So today, obviously, today is a Friday. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna post. Uh, it's a little bit awkward because it's glaring. Screen is glaring, but I'm sure you can see the note. The note. Like a photo and post one below too. Uh, basically, in respect to related to winter vacations in an area, um, in this mina here, um, on February 11, February 15. February 18, February 20, uh, the library will be locked down. Uh, it says right there. Uh, you can see it. Like I said, I'm going to post the photo of this thing. That's one, two, three, four days. Um, that's going to be locked. And then on the 13th, it's going to be open between 8 and two only and then she also informs that there will be i don't know from 11 to the 23rd there might be even additional uh stuff that's going to happen with the library because this would be related to winter vacation and whatever uh, you can see it here this this is stuff you can see it Okay, um, uh, it looks like Mr. Trump is quite uh, determined to, uh, I guess, um, <laughs> take me down or something like this. Um, today I have received yet another news. Um, this was the answer, the response to my request which I have submitted, I'm not really sure, but it was quite some time uh, when I submitted one and it's coming from Warsaw, this response here. And it's a very, very negative response. It's written here that uh, it says the 6th, Warsaw at the 6th. Uh, but I have not received this on the 6th. Uh, in fact, Yesterday I have submitted a written request to the Warsaw. Yesterday was the 7th. Today is the 8th. So as far as this document here, this is already a lie here. Because this should be submitted to me by the 6th. By the 6th because it takes about 6 months. You should definitely get an answer within 6 months. Uh, about at least decision uh, related to the work permit. I'm not saying that uh, it's got to be decision that is got to be based on whether you have the right to stay uh, in the country or not. Even that, and that's quite bad. If you get decision that it's a negative response and uh, your application is turned down, that's a very bad stuff. But, um, you know, that of course gives you a chance that you can complain to the court again, uh, again, again, engage in procedure, which for many people this is not really a good option to begin with. But at this point, I would not actually really have a problem. This is the stuff I got, and this is the stuff. I, I read like this because my Polish is quite okay now. Uh, as far as reading. Uh, so if you can complain and at the same time you at least have the right to work, that's some, some way somehow humane according to the Polish laws alone. Because the Polish law, I'm not saying that, um, that something is wrong with the Polish law or something like this? No, I don't think so. I think the Polish law is correct. I think this is the way it's got to be. This is the proper way to do things. Uh, in some countries, you have to wait longer to get the work permit. Okay, 
It all depends what kind of country and under what kind of circumstances you have to wait for whatever you have to wait. Most of these refuges here that we have in Poland and also inside of the center does not want to be in Poland. They don't want to apply here in Poland, but some of them were transferred to Poland. They already were in other countries, but they were transferred back to Poland. Uh, and so you see, due to low standards that they receive as immigrants, even that the standards are standards that are like night and day compared to my standard. No, no, you folks do not understand what's going on. Okay, let me explain something. Okay, uh, most of them, despite all that, does not want to be here. They want to be abroad. They are rather in Germany doing nothing, getting the money, social assistance, and doing anything. And here, Poland actually gives them, number one, the money uh, for the stay over there in the center. Uh, they give them food, they give them a place to stay, and they give them the right to work literally under the table. Maybe here and there some gets punished or something like this, but a free place to stay, uh, a free food, and a work under the table adds up to about standards of regular Polish citizens at least. These people have cars. These people most of the time don't even eat food from immigration center. Food, meat, as far as meat, they eat special halal meat, certified special meat, separate meat, bake themselves cakes. It's a completely different world they live in, driving around with the cars and myself. I am on 70 zloty per month, and even out of those 70 zloty, uh, I'm required to pay for expenses such as, let's say on Monday, I would have to go again to watch and, because of this answer, repeat the procedure for me to stay here in Poland. Because the procedure here states that my original complaint submitted to, oh, from who is this coming from? Okay, it's not even coming from boss really, this is coming from... Uh, immigration department over there in Warsaw, but who this is? Um, Chwanek, uh, I see here Michael, Michal, Michal Kowalski, Slavomir Pil, Tadeusz Zielinski. Okay, and uh, I guess these are the three people. Or what? That's not in this thing here. Chef or the Jesus himself, uh, not really, but uh, it concerns him and so on and so forth. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is this is this is related to the law to the uh, to the European Union law. Uh, basically something that <laughs> one hundred percent the answer, bulletproof answer I have already responded to, I took time to write that, I got a good assistance here from some attorneys here in Poland, they assisted me big time on how actually to prepare the proper response and that the response is bulletproof response in respect to rights of the European Union citizens as per having the right to apply for political protection in another European Union state. Here it states that I don't have that kind of right because Slovenia and Poland both are European Union member states. Uh, what now? What are we going to do about this stuff? Again, um, I'm not here in Poland so that I would um, suck uh, money, you know, social uh, assistance, anything like this. Uh, I am here because not only I have every right to be here, but because I like I like it here. I like Poland. I can help myself. Um, right now, if I would be, <laughs> I don't know, if I would be, you know, if I if I wouldn't like it, you know, I would just go to another country or something like this. But my situation is. Related to the situation I have gone through in my life and honest to God, I don't actually see myself as in any other country than in this one here. I am in trouble in that aspect, uh, even more so because of, uh, you know, 
I don't know, I like it here and I see myself part of this place here, I don't know. This is this is really really tough tough for me. Uh, I guess that I have the 30 day right, the 30 day to appeal to this thing here. But will last on a social social money basically have granted a place to stay and um, a food for only another 14 days uh, due to which I am forced, compelled to go back to immigration office and reapply for entire immigration procedure again to be repeated that's one thing, that's one option there is no such a way, there's no such thing, I already thought about this, there's no such thing like this if you would only submit the reply uh, to the court take this to the court in Warsaw as I will have to do it there is no such thing that if I would do this I would get the work permit because the work permit is what kills me the most you know when you're at age 47 and you need wife kids uh, you know move on with your life this is just this kills you this really really kills you this this kind of stuff is it's a killer that's why I mentioned the lady that decision like this uh, it's, you know instead of obtaining my obtaining the work permit you know you're told that you have to wait another six months for the work permit uh, that you in my situation yeah, it's genocidal I would not even mind if decision would be negative but I would have the work permit because that would give me a chance to to work and get myself together and get out of this place but now as you see subjected to the circumstances like this this is this does equal to genocide at age 47 um, never mind even what happened in this country in Poland where I was subjected to the torture when brought from the United States of America subjected to the torture to, by the Russians and stuff like this um, this is this is this is this is yeah at age 47 what do you do other than killing me I mean, it's not that I would be angry or something like this at you know anyone for that matter that made this thing here uh, I understand this is very political this is why I called political uh, you know that's why I applied for political asylum protection but this goes against the rules of protection this goes against the principles of protection this equals to genocide decision like this so based on that based on this things here i have to also act accordingly to that stuff and so the polish people now this time they will have to forgive me because i will have to take steps that are necessary uh, to stop this kind of madness I don't have choice other than uh, basically list the country that listed herself next to Slovenia. As much as I want to not press against the Poland, I hate to stay uh, on a genocide complaint state of Poland because it's it touches issues of the Polish people that suffered tremendously throughout the history from Germans never mind Russia, Russia is not even in the European Union <laughs> but under this kind of circumstances here you are actually, I am actually submitting more horrific complaint than you know not even Adolf Hitler did this stuff like this and it did happen in the Poland, I'm not saying that Polish people did this but they definitely allowed to do this stuff to happen and then they have even sucked on uh, profited from within from after it did happen so because of that stuff I am gonna have to take steps uh, it's the Polish officials that have stated right here that they give me a negative answer and on answer it states that Poland this is the second decision Poland is just like Slovenia, the European Union state. And in other words, what they would do is, is how I see it is, they would just go like this, turn around to me and say, we don't see you, you don't exist, as far as we are concerned. 
And so because you don't see me because I don't exist and I don't have also alternative, I don't have a choice other than not to see you either. This is the way it works. Respect basically goes both ways. I rationalize this thing very deeply. So because of this, my dear Polish people, uh, it's the last thing I wanted to do. Uh, you were able to see a lot of stuff happened. I didn't want to push forward. But your officials in Warsaw have made things really, really simple uh, in a negative sense in respect to this case. They really have simplified the decision. Um, actually, it's not a decision, it's a choice. Because it comes to the choice and you're pressed against the corner. You don't have, you don't, you, you can't really go, you can't, you don't have any alternatives. And this is the only alternative, really, that is left. It's not, it's not that I would want to do, but really, Warsaw did its best for me to do this stuff. I don't have a choice. Something Germans have looked big time forward to under MK Ultra. I have to warn you about this. Germans would, they were excited about because of what happened in the World War II. And when I was brought to Poland, I was seen like a German, like uh, this guy was a German. The Russians called me. Uh, they, they, they raped women, they killed people here between 98 and 2006 uh, and referred to me, us, in Poland as Stepan Bandera, the one that killed uh, Polish people over there in Ukraine, basically. This is the brutal reality. And so, I'm sorry, I mean, they are actually going to profit, looks like, from this thing. And this is very bad. I don't want to see myself in this situation. I, in no way I would want to go and equal that not only the people that have murdered six million Poles that have ruined, deleted Varsho from existence and have even brought me from the United States of America so to Poland so the Russians could torture me. No way would I want to go and equal Polish people with uh, with the Germans, with new Nazi Germany, but the bottom line is that some people in Warsaw do it because they have the right, because they have ability, not because they have the right, because they have ability to do it. On your behalf, my dear Polish people. I did call for war against the Warsaw. Uh, not much have happened ever since, so I'm going to have to take my own steps in respect to this, until you're going to make some decision. Uh, another thing is that this is something I already have touched a little earlier. Why was this thing given to me today is the 8th. Yesterday I submitted a request. Uh, yesterday was the 7th. Why was this thing here given to me on, on the 8th? It should be given to me already on the 6th. That's one thing. Questionable also is the time limit which uh, people in Warsaw had to respond to my uh, request related to cancellation of the first decision which related to European Union laws that also is questionable this is also something I will request I'm gonna inquire with hmm. I will inquire about that from some kind of attorney uh, I guess or from the new sites or whatever it is the case I'm gonna have to find out which is going to be a tough thing to do because library, as you see here, it's closed and nothing else but closed. That's all there is. Um, please, people in Warsaw, do not use the library as an excuse to transfer me from here. I don't want to be transferred from here despite everything. Um, just get what you are required to obtain, basically. Just get the substitution for this librarian. Either replace the librarian with librarian uh, or what another option is, uh, just get her assistance so when she's absent, the library can stay open. This is just the way it is. Um, so I guess that they came to term that I'm going to be without a job for another six months. And I understand it's going to be some kind of explanation, additional letter that is going to come. <laughs> this is yet more strange that I don't have anything stated here other than, other than what is related to the European Union laws uh, in respect to you know how people cannot. I'm going to do this so.
if there's some Polish attorneys out there that can help me out with this stuff, I would really appreciate. Um, the last thing I ever wanted to do was, um, you know, it's bizarre that uh, people that, um, how can I say that, I don't have anything against the Russian people. This is just a complete nonsense. I don't have anything against the Russian people. This is not here the idea to go uh, to attack Russian people, to harm Russian people anyway. This is stupid. This is not my purpose in life. I am not running away from Russian people and I'm not, uh, I don't have any kind of uh, hatred feelings for them or anything like this. It's just totally stupid thing. Um, it's just that when you do the stuff like this, and it did not relate only to me alone, it was ladies that got, whose lives got ruined, it was men and ladies, as I have said, that some got raped, some got killed, and so on. Um, it's just that you have to be respectful toward laws, you have to, you have to obey uh, just a plain ethics, you don't have to go even by the laws. You just have to be normal, you just have to consider normal ethics that concern human beings uh, as per civilized society. That's all you got to do and then you're not going to have a problems with me. Unfortunately, you cross that line, that's why, that's why it's a problem I have. Okay, as far as Russian people, um, <laughs> Russian people, uh, I'm looking forward to one day to have the right to go to Russia like a normal human being and enjoy myself over there with the people, uh, have fun with them, uh, just like other Polish and Ukrainian people, it should be the case, should all go and have fun. None of us, even in my situation, should go forward to, to um, you know, to isolate from society of any kind on planet Earth. None of us should go and, and radicalize and, and stick itself into a hole because you have a problem with you know, with certain country, I'm going to say with the government within the certain country. This should not be the case. I'm not going to allow this anybody to do this. To me. Nobody's going to isolate me from anybody. I'll go wherever the hell I want to go in this world, and nobody's going to stop me from doing that stuff. I'm stopped from doing that. Damage has happened, and I'm going. I am fighting not only for this. I'm fighting for many issues. This is also one of the issues. Nobody's going to stop me from anything. I will not isolate myself from the world, no way. I'm a social person, I want to engage with the people, I want to see places, I want to have a fun with the people, and somebody is just not going to do this to me, that kind of stuff, okay. What's going to happen now, I already have partially suggested, uh, obviously I'm going to have to go and repeat, resubmit this procedure. Uh, if I get lucky, they will allow me to stay within immigration system jobless, if I don't get lucky, then I'm just not going to get lucky. Then I'm going to get a little bit less lucky. Uh, tragedy, uh, I don't actually see one in this life anymore. I guess that Donald Trump also is just a, such a pathetic piece of shit. Excuse me, folks. Excuse of human being. Uh, such a waste of oxygen uh, that I would not even waste my words on that. Uh, it's just going to be too damn bad for him that his administration is not going to settle my case during his presidency. And I think I did said enough, and that hurts pretty bad, Mr. Pence, doesn't it? You know exactly what that means. If the worst comes to worst, the worst is not going to happen. Okay? So, uh, I guess this is just not going to happen. That's a punishment big enough, and you know what that means? Uh, this complain now, of course, is going to have to go also to other instances, such as European Union is going to be changed. Um, certain things are going to be changed. Uh, I'm going to look into the dates, timing, uh, when was submitted, when was answered to me and so on. And based on that, then I'm going to have to take legal actions, I don't know, maybe within the state of Poland against uh, Polish state, which I am disgusted to do. You know, because I'm disgusted because I'm eager to be part of the society. And when you come here and you're new and you start to engage in this kind of stuff, 
Uh, this is just really uh, a bad thing to do. I'm, I'm just going to say this is some, something I, I'm not looking forward to. But, again, again, I don't have a choice, do I? And, of course, we're going to have to go through the international instance. I'm going to have to check with the United Nations and so on and so forth to see how much exactly, uh, when compared to other refugees here, who I don't even know why they are here, these people. What are these people here? Uh, why are they here at all? I do not understand. Why have these people attacked me here? Why have they caused me so many troubles if they are basically experience the problems with a same country of supposed to be at least similar problems to mine uh, this is a stuff that Polish state alone is going to have to answer to that. so it's going to it's going to it's going to concern this kind of issues it's going to be submitted to international instances unfortunately more legal work for me uh, more time lost but guess what I get things done it doesn't matter how, but I get them done. So that's all I want to say for this video. I understand I'm going to get another supplementary document uh, next to this one here. I don't know. Uh, it's not going to be tomorrow. Unless they're so motivated to answer me, even in Saturday. I wouldn't be surprised because really uh, the timing here is already no good and so on. So I suppose it's going to be on Monday. And so... Um, that's that. That's all I want to say in respect to this stuff. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.